I mean, how artists should approach marketing right now. Let's say if they can't work with any kind of like marketer, like anybody who's an expert per se or whatever, right? Like if they just have to try to figure it out themselves, what would you tell them to do today? Well, the first thing I would tell them is to take, take a, you can still keep recording your music, mm -hmm. but before you decide to put your music out, go on the internet and learn. Do your due diligence. Learn about how things work. Like learn about um, licenses and copyrights and things like that. Like, like there's people who come to me to do work and they don't even have their paperwork together. So it's like, if this shit does take off, you can't even make money off of it, right? Yeah. So there's that. But yeah. then also, like one of the ways when we were coming up with Vellus, one of the ways that I did was I would like look at like Source or XXL Magazine or MTV Gems or whatever. And I would see someone up there and like, ooh, how'd they get up here? Like someone who's like, maybe I'm like, I'm just finding out about them. I'm like, how'd they get up here? Then I'll go work backwards and find out, okay, who did they work with? What did they do? Like the people who are where you want to be, find out what they did to get there. That's, that doesn't mean you have to copy it step for step, but just knowing what is available to you is going to help you, right? Like um, one of the best sayings ever in life is if you keep doing something and it's not working and you keep doing it, that's the definition of insanity, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of like, there's people, I'm sure you know, just people you grew up with that have been making music for 10, 15 years and they're still local. It's not that they make bad music. It's just that they haven't changed their approach at all, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's like nowadays there's different ways for an artist to break. The best way for an artist to break right now, um, and I tell this to every client, even if it's not a client, I tell them is consistency, providing content. Yeah. Um, and not and when I say content, I don't mean just your song. If you are an artist in 2020 and you're releasing music on the internet and you don't have a music video, your song doesn't exist. Hmm. Nobody's gonna be checking for it. And at that point, you're really just hoping to get lucky. That's essentially that's what you're doing. So it's like if you sit back for a whole year and you plan, you learn the game and you put together a strategy, it might not be the best strategy, but you, you put together some sort of strategy and you save up, you stack up your money. By the time you are ready to drop your music, you're gonna be um, in far better shape to have success than if you just record your music, you can just start shit out sporadically. You know what I mean? One year of hard research and learning, six months of that, could save you a lot of time wasted and a lot save you a lot of money for sure for sure yeah i think preparation is is definitely underrated and this whole just get out there it's cool you can build stuff and you can test and experiment but making sure you put more time into your preparation making more create creative in your video you know, whatever that is, just spending time on the front end can definitely save you back in um, headaches. So, mm -hmm. all right, outside of, of that then, if I'm, all right, I'm going to prepare, I'm going to really get myself in the right mindset, understand the game a lot more, and definitely that reverse engineer from where artists are, who they work with is, is a huge gem. I hope that doesn't go over people's head. You definitely um, need to do that. What is... um. What are some of the most interesting platforms popping right now to you in terms of marketing for artists? I think um, it's not necessarily um, the platforms, it's how you use it. Okay. Right? So it's just kind of like, people are talking about TikTok right now, mm -hmm. right? And it's just kind of like, going back to our point about just throwing shit out there sporadically, there's people who are popping off TikTok right now. Roddy Rich is someone whose song just blew up on that platform. Yep. Now, um, just because that happened for him, doesn't mean that now you should just 
take whatever money you have and just start throwing it at influencers, just hoping that the same shit happens for you. Uh That's not how that, that's not how that really works. Like you should, um, whether it's Instagram influencers, TikTok influencers, yo, make sure that the people that you're reaching out to, their audience makes sense for your music, right? Make sure that, make sure that at least there's a connection there. Yeah. And then also learn the platform. Like if once you learn Instagram, you're going to be able to know, okay, who's, who's got fake followers, who's got fake likes, who's, who's faking it, who, or who has low engagement, like where you shouldn't be spending your money. Like, you know what I mean? Just because it's, just because it's a platform doesn't mean you should be spending your money there. You get what I'm saying? 100%. So, So it's also like a combination of things. Like I always say like, People come in and they're like, there's some clients that I have reoccurring. And it's just like, you tell them, but hey, you want to keep spending money? Fine. They come in and they're like, yeah, you know, I want to um, do put some uh, some Spotify on my shit. And then do some playlisting. Their numbers go up. And then a few months later, they come back. Yeah, I'm going to put some little bit more Spotify on my shit. Put it on. <laughs> it's kind of like, bro, what about if you just, that money that you're spending on that Spotify and you're boosting your streams, what about if you just save up your money and then talk to me and let's figure it out or just figure it out on your own about like, okay, I'm going to put X amount on Spotify. I'm going to put X amount on with these Instagram influencers, these TikTok influencers. I'm going to run advertising here. You know what I mean? And then that's when you're really going to see a change in your, in your, in your trajectory. But as far as, but as far as the most, the platform that's, I feel like the most effective, is definitely the advertising, a hundred and ten percent. Yes, sir. It's it's so underrated, and I always have to like explain to people like the importance of it and how effective it is. It's 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 a matter of it's there. Everyone could do it, but it's who, who's doing it. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Yep. It's, it's I, I, like I remember like I was talking to a client. It's just like yeah yeah yeah. I'm not gonna go through y'all no more. I figured out that form. I figured out y'all formula. I was like, word, go ahead, go ahead, pal. I, I love it. I love when that happens, bro. <laughs> it, it's just uh, like, it's a difference between hiring people who know what they're doing and people who don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That may, I mean, that just makes me think. <laughs> it's direct to consumer. It's taking away the gatekeepers. Yeah. It's taking away all the middleman riffraff and all that stuff. It's it. Because uh, essentially, a lot of what's happening in marketing is product placement. Mm. It's I put my product, my song here, and hopefully enough people hear it. And out of the people who hear it, hopefully they like it. Yep. That that's that's the basic concept for radio, for TV, for blogs, for playlists, for, for so much, so many different aspects. In the but advertising, when done correctly it goes directly to the type of people who like the type of content that you're creating. Like there's so many sub genres of hip hop. A lot of genres of music. It's just kind of like J Cole fans and Cometazine fans are not the same people. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this is kind of like who, who's your audience and find them and you go right to them and they decide whether or not your shit is popping or not. And that's why I like, like working with gens and like working with working um, artist campaigns and where we're doing some advertising, we're doing some Spotify playlisting, where we're putting together this campaign, they're following directions. And then within yeah. like two, three, within two, three months, they're out of here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah.